Saturn's rings are one of our solar system's most spectacular sights, orbiting the planet in a paper-thin array of icy particles and rock that stretches over 170,000 miles wide while only around 30 feet thick. First spotted in a telescope by Galileo Galilei in 1610, these iconic rings have fascinated humans for over 400 years, representing one of science's most enduring mysteries while capturing our imaginations. How did these massive structures form and come to encircle Saturn? While Galileo Galilei first observed Saturn's mysterious appendages in 1610, the limited optics of his telescope meant their true nature as rings remained unknown for decades until Christian Huygens used an improved telescope in 1655 to note their flattened disc-like structure. Huygens shared his discovery in a pamphlet, The System of Saturn, correctly proposing that a solid ring system surrounded the planet, tilted relative to Saturn's equator, and capable of disappearing from view when edge-on from Earth's perspective. Further observations by John Cassini in 1675 confirmed a gap between the rings, now known as the Cassini Division. Groundbreaking observations from the twin Voyager spacecraft flybys in 1980-1981 found Saturn's rings made up primarily of water ice fragments, ranging in size from tiny dust grains to giant boulders over 20 feet wide, with traces of tholin organic compounds tinting them shades of reddish-brown. The main rings are labeled alphabetically in order of discovery, with a dense central B ring and more diffuse surrounding A and C rings separated by the Cassini division nearly 3,000 miles wide. Fainter D, F, and G rings lie inward or outward from the main set, containing less densely packed material, while rogue moons create gravitational disturbances that leave propeller-shaped gaps in ring segments. Although Saturn's rings clearly formed long ago, Theories conflict as to exactly when and how. One idea suggests the rings were inherited from the solar nebula of gas, dust, and debris left over after the Sun itself formed 4.5 billion years ago. However, over millions of years, the rings should either condense back into larger moons or have dust gradually depleted, arguing instead for a young age within the last 100 million years. Another possibility is the rings may represent the shattered remains of a larger moon or comet passing too close to Saturn's tidal forces, though no consensus exists on which origin is most likely. While Saturn's rings may have looked largely unchanged over past centuries of telescopic observations, closer study paints a far more dynamic picture. Voyager images reveal bizarre braided patterns called straw, Waves and kinks not yet fully explained by ring-particle interactions, gravity or electromagnetism, seasonal sunlight angle changes, also cast strikingly different textures, brightness and shadows from year to year. Over longer time scales, required circularization of initially elliptical particle orbits would eventually see Saturn's rings transform into a smoother series of concentric circles. Besides their inherent beauty and mystery captured in images from Voyager, Cassini, and other probes, Saturn's icy rings likely share common origins with planetary debris disks and developing solar systems across our galaxy, serving as the most observable, accessible example of such processes in action. Ring gaps carved out by shepherd moons demonstrate how small bodies gravitationally sculpt disks over time seeding the growth of larger worlds, while myriad other dynamical processes play out, including collisions, tidal evolution, and weathering effects. Saturn's cosmic laboratory thus grants insights into planet formation itself. An astonishing wealth of phenomena hides within Saturn's deceptively simple-looking rings, including signs of active geology and temporarily orbiting aggregates dubbed propellers as well as equatorial storms, plasma lensing effects, and instability-driven waves that trigger puzzling changes propagating across tens of thousands of miles over periods of years or decades. One surprise even awaited astronomers reviewing Voyager data in the 1980s. They discovered a third bright but slender ring component occupying a gap in the Enca division, becoming known as the newly revealed F-ring. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate you taking the time to view our video. It takes us many hours to research, film, and edit each one, so your support means a lot. If you enjoyed the video, we'd hugely appreciate if you could give it a like and leave a comment with your thoughts below. Subscribing would also help tremendously, 
as it lets the YouTube algorithm know you want to see more of our content. Lastly, sharing this video with any friends or on social media would be extremely helpful for us. It really assists with reaching more viewers interested in space and astronomy. So if you know anyone else who might enjoy this topic, please share. Again, thanks so much for choosing our channel. We create this content for passionate viewers like you, so we're grateful for every bit of positivity and engagement. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video soon.